Hi, my name is John Helfin, and I am an Education Solution Specialist with Autodesk. And today I wanted to provide an overview of what I think is a pretty cool new product from Autodesk called Autodesk Inventor Publisher. Now, being a mechanical guy, I've always been interested in assembly instructions, and having children of my own, I've seen some pretty appalling excuses for assembly instructions uh, provided with some of the toys that they've received. Uh, Autodesk Inventor Publisher is a new program from Autodesk that allows you to create assembly instructions and technical documentation of 3D parts and assemblies. Uh, Autodesk Inventor comes with a similar functionality out of the box in presentation files, but Publisher is actually the next generation or the next leap forward in that technology. It provides a much simpler interface for building assembly instructions, more capabilities to manage and control your documentation, the ability to export into many useful formats, and the ability to style your graphics based on your needs. So to begin, I'll start a new document, and you should right away be basically familiar with the interface if you've used Autodesk Inventor. At the top we have the ribbon bar, and on the right we have the view cube, we have on the left the browser or canvas, and down at the bottom a new feature which is the storyboard. Now in Publisher the idea is that you're a movie producer or director. So the canvas and storyboard go along with that theme. The idea is that a storyboard is like a comic strip, a group of snapshots or frames that tell a story about how a, an assembly gets put together or taken apart. So um, one thing to note as we get started is uh, Publisher doesn't actually create parts or assemblies. Um, it is the mechanism for documenting or animating how these components are you know, fit together. So I'm going to start this presentation by actually inserting an assembly, an Autodesk Inventor assembly that I have. This is actually a trebuchet, which I've used in other demonstrations. Uh, historically, it's a wooden catapult of sorts. Uh, I've actually modernized it by building it out of milled aluminum components. But here you can see when we bring it in, it is a little bit out of orientation. So I'm going to go ahead and just like an inventor, I can uh, use the home, right click on the home menu to actually set my new home view, and I'm going to actually reset a new front view. And what this will do is allow me to have the top front and right side views oriented in the fashion that I am used to. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and close the canvas. We don't really need it for right now, and if we do, we can bring it back up uh, using the view tab. So before we actually begin taking this assembly apart, um, there's a couple of small setup details I want to go over. Uh, the first, which I mentioned in my intro, was the appearance, the ability to set your graphics uh, based on your needs. And since we're going to be doing technical illustration or te technical documentation, um, a set, uh, I'm going to actually use a technical line drawing option. But Essentially what this is going to do is restyle my parts. Before we go there, let me show you something with an emphasized style on it or appearance. You can see that the silhouette is in a white outline. The part's been um, changed in color so that it stands out in the assembly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a technical line drawing, which is more in line with what I feel is appropriate for assembly instru instructions. What you'll see here is that the outer silhouette lines are a dark black, a uh, thicker black line, and the inner lines are a thin black line. Now, this lo does look nice. Um, in my opinion, I would actually prefer if the inner lines were a little bit lighter so that the part, the, the silhouette, stood out more. And you can do this by creating your own style. And under the Appearance menu, if you click Create New Style, uh, you can give it a name. Um, we're going to go with Technical uh, Line Drawing. We'll call it V2 because we already have the default one. Uh, we can set its type to basic illustration. And then you have the option to, to pick the color and thickness for the silhouette edges and internal edges. Um, in this case, all I want to do is set the internal edges to a lighter gray instead of the black, which I think will help uh, the parts stand out a bit more. So if I go back into the appearance and I scroll down to the bottom, you can see my technical line drawing V2 has been added. And I'm going to go ahead and click that and now you can see that the internal lines are a light gray. This is, again, this is a, a personal opinion of mine. Uh, for your project or your organization, you could create styles that fit for your needs. 
So with the style set, we're actually close to beginning the actual process of taking this assembly apart. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and go over one quick new item, and that is the graphical right-click menu. Now some of you may have seen this in Autodesk Inventor Fusion, which is up on Autodesk Labs. It is a graphical right-click menu, and what it does is just gathers common tools similar to what you would be used to in a right-click menu, but it puts them in a graphical orientation what you can see is it works just like the toolbar does or the ribbon bar does. If you hover over a tool it brings up the help for it just as it would on the toolbar. So here we have insert, we have explode, we have uh, play presentation, create new snapshot, create new storyboard, explode, um, or auto explode and view or move, sorry. So this is a nice way to get a common look and feel between the toolbar and the right-click menu. Um, one of the other things it does is offers mouse gesture selection for commands in this right-click menu. So here we can see that the snapshot option is straight down from the middle and the move is to the upper left in this circular orientation. So if I were to right-click and drag in that direction, you can see a line is created in the direction that I'm dragging. If I release my mouse button, it actually hits the snapshot command and launches that. And you can see a new snapshot was created down here. Um, let me do that one more time. I'll right click to show you where the menu is. So here's the snapshot, and here's the move. So if I right click and drag straight down, I'm going to create a new snapshot. If I right click up to the left, I'll get the move command. So I really wanted to just go over that because it's, it's a... Uh, a component that you've probably never seen before and I'm going to be using it throughout this demonstration I want to make sure you understood what I was doing and you didn't think there was magic happening. While it is a nice functionality it's definitely not magic.